Hi, you guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm going to do a product review on a magnetic lash that is a drugstore brand. Do you want to know if this works and what my thoughts are going to be? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So if you saw like last year, I ended up doing one tutorial video on a brand that has basically the same concept. I spent a lot of money on that set and the magnetic liner dried out like instantly. So I don't recommend that brand. That was a Tory Bell, I believe it was called. So when I was looking through Walgreens a few weeks ago, I saw this on an end cap and I'm like, there's magnetic liner here that you can buy at a drugstore now? Like what? So I thought I would go ahead and pick these up and I chose this style lash. This is called the Tantalize and that's what it looks like. And then the lash magnetic liner is separate. Now I have my receipt here. I bought this. Yeah, I bought this last month. <laughs> The magnetic lashes are $8.99 and the eyeliner in black was $9.99. So basically I got both of these for $20 for the set. I know this is a smaller size for the actual magnetic liner, but maybe it won't dry out as much and paying $10 to replace this is a lot cheaper than a hundred and something for that other set. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's see how this works and see if they're good or not. So it says two easy steps. <laughs> line with Kiss Magnetic Eyeliner along the lash line and wait until formula is dry. Lash right above the applied eyeliner. Simple, <laughs> sounds simple. So let's get these open. It says lasts up to 16 hours, wind resistant, which I will put that to the test in a little bit, and no smudge. Line, lash, done. Quick and easy. So let's see what this quick and easy thing is all about. It does say shake bottle in the back, so I'm sure it needs to be shook really good. So let's get these open. So here are the lashes out of the package. And they had some that were a little bit thinner and more like real, but I already have thin and little lashes. So I wanted something that would actually look like I have some type of lashes on. And then they actually had some that were thicker. I think they had like three or four different styles of the lashes. And then the liner was by itself. They did have a set that had the liner with the lashes, but it was a, a style of lash that I didn't really want. So I bought them separately. But they do have them in a set if you're interested in getting a set. And that's what it looks like out of the package. So let's shake it up. And it sounds like there's like a paintball in there. And it says secure hold five magnets for the lashes. Double strength magnets on five points is what it says. Okay, so I put a little bit of mascara on my natural lash so it kind of will blend in with the falsies. And I have a thin layer of eyeliner already on so I'm gonna put this over it because I'm not really good with liquid liner. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. That is the little point that is on there. So let's see. And I'm going to do two layers just to be on the safe side because I'm not good with this stuff. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna let the first layer dry. <laughs> Could not think of what I was gonna say right there. <laughs> nope, that's not a fan. <laughs> that won't work. Okay, so I'm gonna put on a second coat real quick. Okay, so now I have two layers. I think that's good enough. It just says, pair Kiss Magnetic Eyeliner with your favorite regular eyeliner to create your desired look. So good thing I did it that way. <laughs> Freely swap between the other Kiss Double Strength Magnet Lashes 
depending on occasions. Make sure to fully draw in the Kiss Magnetic liner where the magnets will be touching for secure application. Slide the lashes off the tray, do not pull. Reply two to three more coats for maximum strength. Okay, so I did two, so let me do one more because now it's saying on there two to three coats for maximum holding. Okay, so now let them completely dry. If I can achieve the look for $20 that I spent a hundred and something dollars for the same thing on that other set, I'll be happy. <laughs> Cause I really, I mean, I can use the other lashes. I just need a good liner. So if this liner works and I can still use those lashes with this liner, but I wanted to try their magnetic lashes. So it says to slide them off, don't pull them. So it has two little points there to hold. And the magnets, there is one, two, three, four, five. So you see the shiny, wait, let me see. See, there's one. It's see the, the little parts that are kind of shining. Those are the magnets, there's five of them. There's two on each end, two in the middle, and then one in the very dead center. So. Um, these are not going on as good as those other ones. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so there's one on. <laughs> It was a little bit more difficult than the other ones. The other ones kind of seem like maybe the magnet on the liner was stronger. Okay, you guys, so they're on. And they're not so dramatic that they're gonna look like funny. I think they look actually really good and I really wish mine were this long. <laughs> but they are on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear them around for a couple hours and then I will be back to finalize and tell you guys if they were comfortable, if they were uncomfortable, that kind of thing. And I'm gonna use a blow dryer and do a blowing test and see how well they stay put after having them on for a few hours. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have wore these for a few hours and my final thoughts for at least my first day try on, this one is super comfortable. This one kind of pinches in the corner of my eye. I think I needed to kind of set it back a little bit more, but that's all in trial and error and getting with what's comfortable and sits right for you. Um, so I think this one just needed to be kind of over a little bit, but I didn't want to keep taking it off and back on, off and back on, because I wanted to see how they truly stay on. So... My final thoughts, like I said, I think they look really good. This one's definitely super comfortable. I didn't have to trim them or anything. I think they fit perfectly on my eye shape. It's just this one kind of is pulling like my little tiny lashes inside here um, every now and then. So that's the only thing that's a little bit uncomfortable, but all I have to do is just move it over and I probably wouldn't feel it at all. But like I said, I just didn't want to keep taking them off and putting them back on because when it sticks to the liner, then the liner kind of pulls up on it from my past experience with that other brand. That's what had happened. So you kind of have to clean that off to get a good seal again. So let's go ahead and try the little blow drying test. Let's see what happens to these and see if they move, shift, lift, or stay put. So you guys want to know what they're going to do? What do you think? Do you think they're going to come off? I mean, they're pretty good held on there, but I haven't been in any windstorm. I'm pushing it in, but... No.
Okay, so that one is lifting in the middle. Only in, <laughs> only in the middle. Okay, <laughs> now that I'm all windblown. So this one, if you, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but this one was lifting in the middle of it only, not anywhere else. So nothing else lifted, nothing shifted. Everything is still pretty much on there, pretty good. Look, oh. So that's how easy they come off. And so it does pull, like I was saying, it pulls the, the stuff out. So on the little magnets, you just have to take like a little bit of makeup remover and clean them off. Does this say how to clean them? Like what they recommend? Remove with a cotton swab and an oil-based makeup remover. Gently wipe away the eyeliner. So you just wipe away each magnet point, clean it. So that when you put them back on the next time, they're already ready to go and they'll stick. So they're very easy to, to take off. Let's see if it'll go back on now after so long. Yeah, they went back on too. So basing this solely on my hundred and something dollar set versus now my less than $20 set because one was $8, one was $9. So if you're looking for a quick and easy way to put on lashes, because if you're like me and you don't do real lashes with the glue and the lash glue and all of that stuff, this is an easy way to get lashes, have your eyes looking good and not having to deal with any glue <laughs> or anything like that. These things are staying put, they stayed on, they passed the blow drying test. So I think these Kiss lashes are approved by me. They're She Crafty approved. <laughs> there you have it, you guys. She Crafty approved. And yeah. So I'm actually really excited. I'm super glad that I saw them. I literally went in to look for a thermometer, which they're sold out and they still are like a month later. So I just ran in for a thermometer. It wasn't a waste of my trip. <laughs> now I have a new liner to use. And like I said, I could always use my other lashes if I want to or use these, which I think these are perfect for me and the look that I was trying to achieve. So I'm super glad with my decision and picking out these and buying these to show you guys. So if you are wanting to do something like this and you want it to be least cost effective, drugstore, here you go. I'm sure CVS has them too, but I got these directly from Walgreens. And yeah, so comment down below. Let me know, have you used a magnetic liner? Have you seen this brand? Have you used another brand? Have you been interested in trying out magnetic lashes? Let me know down below. Your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty Crew, out.